Hi, my name is Gao Fei from Easy Kids English Training Center, and welcome to another episode of Here Dongguan Teacher Talks, where I share with you what it is like to be an English teacher in the city. Today, we're going to be talking about taxes. I'm going to teach you how to calculate the taxes that you need to pay, and I'm going to teach you how to check that your employer is paying the taxes that he is deducting from your paycheck. If you want to know how to do these things, don't go anywhere, and see you on the other side of the intro. Welcome back everybody. First of all, allow me to say that the main interest in doing this video has to do with what I experienced recently. I discovered that my employer was not paying the taxes that they were deducting. So I figured it would be a good idea to make this video. How to calculate the amount of taxes that you need to pay. This is very easily done online. So I'm gonna show you a screenshot, a short video of how to do so. Let's take a look. All right, guys, so this is the tax calculator. What we are going to do is we're going to go from the top to the bottom and we're going to talk about what these things are. Now, the first box is your salary, your income. So we're going to write here 20,000. The second box corresponds to social insurance. This is something that is optional, so we're going to leave it at zero. If you are registered, to pay social insurance, then this is an amount that would not be taxable. So it will change the figures a little bit, but for now, let's leave it at zero. The third box uh, that appears here in 3,500 should be 4,800 because that is the amount that is not taxable for us foreigners. So the first 4,800 of our salary is not taxable. So we go ahead and we click the blue button and it gives us the following figures 15,200 RMB is the amount that you're going to be paying taxes for. The bracket that we're at is 25%. Now, on the third box, we have 1,005 RMB. This is known as a quick deduction. This is money that the government is going to give you back to help you pay for your taxes. It's a deduction on your taxes, not your salary. So if you do the quick calculation, 25% of 15,200 should be around 3,800. So because the government is giving you back this 1,005, you actually pay only 2,795 RMB the ones that you see here in red, that is how much you're going to be paying for your taxes. And the company should be depositing into your account 17,205. As you can see, it's pretty easily done. And once you get that figure, you can get into step number two. Some of you may be wondering, why would it be necessary for you to check that your employer is paying your taxes? Here's why. Whenever you're going to renew your work permit with the Labor Bureau, you need to present to them a copy, a printout of your personal income tax. So you need to get this. How to do that? All you have to do is you need to go to the tax bureau with your passport and with your number, your passport number, they key it into the computer and they give you a printout. It's that simple and it's that easy. While you're there, it is a good idea to ask how can you do this online? The tax bureau will provide you with a personal password and some information about how to do it online. And that's it. You can check month after month that your employer is in fact paying your taxes. Well, guys, I hope that my bad experience, even after 18 years in the country, is useful to you. Remember, it is very important that your employer is paying your taxes because you're going to need it to renew your work permit. In addition, some of these stories that you hear about schools getting raided and people getting checked usually happen when the government realizes that schools are not paying the taxes. So make sure that you're checking with your school that everything is in order. Well, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you found it useful, consider subscribing and following the Here DG official WeChat account and my YouTube channel. All right, until I see you again, take it easy.